Hi again. In the next section of these video tutorials, we'll be talking about reports and analytics. For the first section, I'm going to be talking about vehicle inspections. So if I move forward here, I'm going to be showing you um, how to review and look over inspection results, uh, download the PDFs and show you uh, the real time data flows between the mobile app used by van drivers to complete their vehicle inspections and um, the results that are shown on the back office ERP. I'm on the home page right now, and all I need to do to find all the reports is to go under order management and click reports in this drop down, and then there you can see vehicle inspections. If I click on here, it has a list of all the vehicle inspections from um, from previous deliveries uh, and previous routes. You can see the vehicle, um, the driver who um, took the vehicle inspection, and you can see the results there. If it was uh, failed, then it will come up as red and you get an automatic notification and even an automated email will be sent to the appropriate teams. If you see here, you can download the inspection PDF. And you can see the conditions. So for example, we've got the brakes are okay. The horn uh, is set to the right uh, level. The wipers and washers are okay. All of this is fine. So if the driver uh, fails any of these inspections or the van more importantly fails any of these uh, inspections, um, you can set it in your company settings, which I'll show to you in a little bit, um, that the driver cannot go further and actually complete his route. So this means you can um, adhere to regulations. At the bottom, you can see there's a signature and a name from the driver for accountability. And also if we go back on here, uh, the inspection dates and the ID are all there as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you just how easy it is for your driver to fill in and submit a vehicle inspection. So here, he's just downloaded his route and we're on the home page screen here. You can see that these five icons are all locked off because um, in the company settings, which I'll show you uh, after this short video, um, the company can choose to enforce uh, vehicle inspections before your driver can access any of the other icons that can actually continue to perform uh, his or her route. So if I click onto a vehicle inspection here, you can see you've got the general, so you can click to see whether the washers and wipers are okay, oil, water and fuel, uh, search engine lights off and the brakes are okay. You can enter a value for the horn, so put 90, and the van temperature as well. Plus we've got tires, wheel, uh, tires and wheels um, and any bodywork issues. And you can also take a photo uh, to confirm any damage that is done to the vehicle or any issues that you may have with it. So if we put any other comments you can put in as well and just finish it off with a signature and a name there. So after you've done all of this, filled it in, they can then confirm And now, as you can see, vehicle inspection has been completed and he can now access um, all of these other icons. He can load his stock and he can begin his route for the day. And that's indicated by that green tick there. So I just submitted that vehicle inspection under the name Comrade uh, and the vehicle one. And as you can see, I've just refreshed the page and uh, on the 21st of the 7th, 2020, which is today, uh, vehicle one Comrade um, passed his vehicle inspection. If you click here, you can uh, download the PDF. If you go down, here we go. It's all the information and the driver information and then the condition of the car all the way through, all the van even, uh, finished by a signature and a name. So that just shows how easy it is to for the driver to use the handheld device and then for that information to immediately travel back to uh, the back office system where your office staff can pick up on it and be as responsive as possible to any problems that they may have. Okay, so now we've looked over vehicle inspections and I've shown you how easy it is for a driver to submit a vehicle inspection and how easily it's transferred back to uh, this database, this back office system. I'm now going to show you how you can set your own rules and regulations for your particular company. So if you just go down here and you go into employee management and you click on handheld profiles, this refers obviously to the handheld devices and the mobile app. 
you click on def the default profile for example here you can really just set any rules you wish to enforce uh, for your van drivers when they're using the app so for instance if we go down here see it reads vehicle inspection enabled and it's ticked this means that when the driver logs on like I said before they have to submit a vehicle inspection and sign it before they can move on so if it wasn't clicked uh, they simply wouldn't have the option to click on uh, the vehicle inspection icon on the handheld device as you saw before up here as well we have a vehicle inspection requires signature uh, which really is for accountability so if you need um, your mobile workers to uh, sign and give proof of their name after they've completed a vehicle inspection then this is where you would do it as well okay so that was vehicle inspections and handheld profiles um, thanks for watching and next time we're going to be talking about site visits, uh, site visits, surveys and so on through the handheld app and how you can see the reports on the back office system. Thank you.